Sunrise Hospital in Las Vegas, Nevada. She's in the CVTU unit. Oddly enough, the loan to Dalitz was not for the casino, but for this hospital. But was it philanthropy or a clever convenience? According to some, the hospital had a secret, more sinister purpose. Sinister purpose. Sinister purpose. She's at Sunrise Hospital. A secret, more sinister purpose. She's at Sunrise Hospital in Las Vegas, Nevada. She's in the CVTU unit. Um, uh, I would like to make an appointment with him, just to have a, a, a humble talk with him. A humble mm -hmm. talk, you know, I, I deserve that. Now, you know. Is it, if it's going to be about your mom, he's not going to be. Uh, 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 no, well, I just, I, I, not, I won't, I won't bring up the subject then. I just yes. want to know what happened, you know, and, that, and how long she lasted. Conversation, and there's nothing that he can do because he doesn't I, I, have access I, I to the I do numbers. want. Yeah, I, I don't care about that. I just want to speak with him. That's mm -hmm. all I want to do. I'm not going to push for any records. I'm not going to push for. Well, okay, look, look at this. Look at this. You can't make an appointment for you to just to talk to him about her. The only thing we can do is just give him the information that you were here and that, that you wanted to speak to him. Yeah. That's the best. Way. That's kind of a cop out. My, my, my mom, it was my mother, and she died in the hands of this doctor, and I can't talk to him, right? That's kind of a cop out, what you just said, right? Well, you know, I, I'm, that, I'm just saying that. Yeah, I, I need to speak to him. I need to speak with him. I mean, that, that's only fair. I'm, I'm the youngest son. And, and I was unlawfully uh, kept from seeing her before she passed. And, and the poor girl died, died of a broken heart and, and, bro and heartbroken, mm -hmm. and, and she had hip pain. She should have had because I have video of her walking pine, right? She was abused. I mean, you know, you know the same word for abuse is torture, right? Mm -hmm. and, 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 and something needs to get on this, oh, you know? You and can't I just, agree with you, just, agree with you, but yeah. you've got to go to the proper channel. Oh, well, I know, I, this is one of the channels is to get an endorsement or there's reasonable suspicion. That's but what for I'm his, here for. under right. his license, he can't just do yeah. that, right? But, but, but why not? It's, if there's a homicide, why not? Because you have to bring... The I, have, I have. Right. Well, see, it's not. You can't, I'm not. Can't put the horse in front of the carriage. They won't let me uh, 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 make a report because I don't have an endorsement, and they won't give an endorsement because I don't have a report. And what is? What was your name again? In the book? My name's Keith. Keith. K E. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for calling Nevada Heart and Vascular. Is Key there by any chance? You're looking for a home. Oh, uh, she was a nurse named Key, and I said K E, and she said yes. Uh, and she, uh, her, and another nurse talked to me. Uh, I don't uh, have a person here by that name. I don't uh, have a person here by that name. And my brother left a message that she was in the C V T U. Unit CVTU. Does anybody know what that means? She's in the CVTU unit. Does anybody know what that means? Mm -hmm. um, no, I actually don't. Sorry. Tyler Carpenter. Is not available. Record your message at the tone. Okay. Did you examine her body uh, before you signed? I would, I would not let her call the records. Uh, 
Awesome. Okay. So, so to, to, to sir, 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 we we have a huge we have a huge problem, and you may be involved with it. To, to, to sir, sir, to, to sir, sir, we we have a huge we have a huge problem. To sir, sir, to sir, sir, we we have a huge we have a huge problem. To sir, sir, we we have a huge we have a huge problem, and you may be involved with it. Can you help me by by, by, by doing the research and, and, and necessary? Because like I said, you know the doctor won't, won't speak to me, um, and, and 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 I'm trying to actually I'm trying to get a police report made. And, and you know of homicide actually I'm sorry actually I'm sorry uh, a, a, a police report made yeah yeah so it was Yes. Carol? Thunder Infinity, which I work with now, I will find out and I can let you know. Thunder Infinity, which I work with now, I will find out and I can let you know. This is homicide division. Yes. Yes. I I, I have definitive proof of a, of a homicide. File a report for a homicide. You have to go through the coroner. Thank you so much. I'll go back to the coroner. Well, here we are at the coroner's office. A homicide sent me over here so you can help me verify uh, uh, some some major foul play. There's a suspicion of murder. They will ask me to show you what I've got. That that will that will help um, um, start an investigation. Okay, just one moment. Okay. Hi, everybody. I have some extraordinary evidence to prove foul play. That's just a, that was luck on my our behalf. Just a stupid, greedy mistake on their their behalf. Mm -hmm. That that will that will definitively show. Unfortunately, we are not legally allowed to accept any evidence. It has to go through homicide first. Mm -hmm. So, uh, just let them know that it has to go through homicide first. I went to the, the highest person I could go to, and unfortunately, we can't look at it until homicide tells us that we have to. Okay, so what I would recommend um, is calling homicide back. Okay. Because you did just come mm -hmm. to us mm -hmm. and let them know that unfortunately we can't do anything. If she was alive right now, well, look at the problems I'm having getting a report. She's dead. Well, what were the chances of, of saving her, right? With all this resistance. Oh, hello. This is Andrew Rhodes again. Um, I, I am here at the coroner's office, and I spoke with her. I explained the story. I did. I think I did a grand performance. But um, they, they, uh, they, they, there's just nothing they can do. They can't call you. They're not. They don't have the protocol to do that, and or make a verbal, even make a verbal recommendation. Ma'am, ma I have something to tell you that, that's really suspicious. They, the, the, the trustee took over the trust a day before she died. You know, then it really, it really needs to be investigated. I have documented proof that the trust. Did Metro respond to the hospice? Uh, I don't know what hospice she was in. That the story. That's why I need but to. You don't know where she died. Uh, uh, no, it not exactly. Uh, I spoke to Dr. Jorgensen, the the man who uh, signed the death certificate. He's just uh, he's just signing people dead uh, and don't even know what happened to him. And that's the perfect recipe uh, for what what's going on here. Find out more information. 
done before a report can be filed. If you have information on the hospitals or the medical facilities, you need to go to the medical board. Okay, that's different than Metro Police. To file a report for a homicide, you'd have to go through the coroner. Legally allowed to accept any evidence, it has to go through homicide first. The coroners would have to would have to call us and let us know that there's an investigation because they found that place. The trustee took over the trust a day before she died. It really needs to be investigated. I have documented proof. I spoke to Dr. Jorgensen. He's just signing people dead uh, and don't even know what happened to them. And that's the perfect recipe for what, what's going on here. If you have information on the hospitals or the medical facilities, you need to go to the medical board. Okay, that's different than Metro Police. We are not legally allowed to pass to go through homicide first. Just let them know that. To file a report for a homicide, you'd have to go through the coroner. The coroners would have to would have to call us and let us know. We are not legally allowed. Just let them know that. Listen to what I'm saying. The coroners would have to would have to call us and let us know that there's an investigation because they found that place. You know what? You know what? Get this, get this, get this, ma'am. I've already, been, I've been a wild goose chases. I've already done the corner trick. And, and they could not endorse anything. And I've got a videotape recorded that they will not, and they not do verbally or by paper and both. And so you're giving me, a, you're giving me the same wild goose chase as that other woman did. And the, the phone lines are recorded. Okay. You don't, you don't mind if I do the All same? Right. If I do the same, right? You don't mind? No, no, that's fine. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, very good. Well, listen, um, can you just kind of tell me your story? Um, I, I've got a little bit of a. My goodness. Uh, from some other folks, but if you could just uh, start at the beginning and tell me, tell me what the situation is, it'd be great. My goodness, my goodness. Um, well, it, it involves a $5 million trust. You know, my mother, who had a broken hip and hip replacement, was abused to near death on uh, uh, concessions property there at Lake Mead. And she was taken to the hospital. Uh, a few days later, she's dead. Yes, yes, I need to have, have, I need to contact him one way or another, whether he calls me or I call him. We need to get this finalized so I, you know, so I can carry on with my next uh, plan, you know, for justice.
The first thing that I should let you know is that um, I'm calling from a government facility and the, the phone lines are recorded. Okay. Just to make me aware. You, don't, you don't mind if I do the same, uh, if I do the same, right? You don't mind? No, no, that's Oh, fine. that's perfect. That's fine. Okay, very good. Well, um, can you just kind of tell me your story? Um, I, I've got a little bit of information My goodness. Uh, from some other folks, but if you could just uh, start at the beginning and tell me, tell me what the situation is, it'd be great. My goodness, my goodness. Um, well, it, it involves a $5 million trust. You know, my, my mother, who had a broken hip and hip replacement, uh, was abused to near death on uh, uh, concessions property there at Lake Mead. And she was taken to the hospital um, a few days later, she's dead of a heart of heart congest. Con, uh, conge uh, well, I, I got the uh, the death not a certificate, but um, a coroner's report. They didn't examine the body, but they uh, congestive heart failure. But sir, um, I, I, I've done my research here in very very uh, uh, detailed and, and as we do recording, you know, before business. Uh, legally, of course, I ask like you do, um, uh, uh, sir. I, I, I have found nothing but foul play. And, and sir, I, my mother died in hospice after, after having a, a valve, um, a, a blood, you know, a heart valve replaced. And, and they, 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 because of a trustee, uh, my trustee, uh, my brother who's a trustee, he was, you know, just crazy anxious to, for, to be um, the trustee. My, of course, my mom changed the will prior. He was going to get Beach House. And he didn't want to. He anyways, he's angry. Anyways, um, uh, okay. he's got a, a history of, of bribing with money with money from her account and I believe I was a bribe what one time ten thousand dollars to sign a document and I believe uh, one other attorney that's in big trouble with the CA bar um, a, a, a complaint has been filed on them on perjury and and I believe he you know this ill-managed doctor in, in, in Las Vegas where she passed away um, was bribed also and, and into sending her to hospice unfoundedly and, and literally, I believe she was snuffed there. But the abuse started there on the federal property. And I, sir, I cannot get can Metro. I, can I, I stop you there? For sure, certainly you can. Yes, yes. Uh, what, what is your brother's name? Uh, put it in an investigate this. Oh, my God. I have, you are uh, my hero, sir. I've been waiting for a hero. Uh, I can't get Metro to do nothing here. Anyways, his name, his name is Jeff Rhodes. He lives in Henderson, Nevada. He was alone and in control of her. And he is a, a greedy, vicious man that can charm you and then turn around and, and, and do what he, he just, his, his soul is missing. Uh, for, for, okay, you know, and, and, and do you have, do you have a phone number? Well, sir, uh, sir, I, um, I have to uh, uh, do some minor research. Um, he left a message. Minor research. Uh, he, he left a message okay. uh, one time calling me his landlord at a home he had no business in at all. He's prematurely, you know, getting wigged out, freaked out about being trusty. And in, in that message, I heard his phone number, and I just have to listen to that nasty call he left me uh, and, and listen okay. to the, the, the preamble. Uh, it comes from the... Uh, is he employed in Henderson? Well... He was as an electrician, but now that he's, you know, took control of us, you know, five million dollar trust. I don't think he needs to work anymore. Um, but yeah, he, he's uh, and he, he he's driving around my mom's and dad's cars too. And and by by the trust rules, he was supposed to sell them. That's just cruel. Anyways, um, yeah, uh, uh, sir, it's, I would like to. Uh, well, listen, let's let's go back to that. Um, there's a couple other things we can always we can always go back and take. Fabulous, it out. fabulous. Okay. Do you happen to know? Do you happen to know um, Jeff's date of birth? He, mm, I'm terrible with days and dates and births. Um, no, I can't give you to you definitively. Definitively, I, okay. I would. I wouldn't dare try. That's okay. We we can come back. I will. I will, uh, sir. I will find you every information that I could possibly uh, come across uh, in order for you to properly investigate and, and I, I will be okay. very 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 cooperative in every manner uh, and because I, I got to okay, get this off, I got to get this off me Mr. Rhodes you said that there was a, a doctor that was central to this whole incident that was involved do you know the name of that doctor yes there are two doctors um, uh, the, one of them is her heart surgeon that was going to do the heart valve and and his name is Dr. Salikas I'm going to spell that for you T, with okay. a, as in Tom, T-S-I-K-A-S. 
L I K I S. Dr. Salikis. And he's the cardiologist? He is the cardiologist and he will not speak to me. And I sent him all the information of the foul play prior up to leading up to her and and, and I uh, and I have recordings um, of, of, of nurses and such that you I, I, I invite you to listen to there's this they are, are, are denying me access to speak to him suspiciously and, and I have them on I have them on YouTube on, on, on the Barstow train channel that's what I call my channel and, and there's four videos there that, that will that will bring you up to speed relatively quick one of the movies I made special for the doctor he never responded to and he had no plans to respond to and, and, and I just did all my best effort to, to, to exclude him from any foul play. Well, I can't do that. He won't. Uh, he has. Okay. He has. Uh, 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 yes. And like I said, the, the, uh, the um, heart and vascular I, uh, is run by uh, a company called HCA. Look them up on Wikipedia. They were fined two billion dollars for fraud. And, and I tried to get a hold of you know the management there. Clam shut. They just don't want to communicate. And, and you know to, to get some answers, you know about my the closure of the you know I don't have any closure of the, my mother's death. I can't get to any any factuals, and that's that's just uh, well when you can't do that. Um, there, there's certain, certainly something stinky. Okay, and you said that that was called HCA. Uh, H Hospital Corporation of America, they, um, okay. two billion. The, the United States' largest Wikipedia, largest United States' largest fine ever uh, imposed on any company and and they're still in business and and, and you know it, it just goes it just goes hand in hand the fraud the mismanagement you know and nobody's looking the doctor who signed the uh, who's the certificate he signs people dead without any questions and so there's your open door for fraud and they sent, you know, she put her in hospice. He sent her to this doctor over here. He signed, they, they, they snuff her out with a pillow, put a toe tag on her, and burn her body. And, and nobody knows none the wiser. Well, uh, they didn't. Okay. Yeah. So let me ask you. Uh, you said there were two doctors. So you got Doctor. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'm looking at his name right here on the on the Clark County, uh, Nevada uh, medical examiner. His name is Doctor Craig Jorgensen with a J O R G. E N S O N. I caught him by a, his first name is Craig. His first name is Greg. Craig with the Greg. with the C. I caught him by surprise, okay. and I and I spoke with him, and it made my surprise. He didn't know anything about me or what's going on. I've been doing my investigation, and I recorded his conversation, and I invite you to listen to it. Um, I don't. I'm gonna, I'll put it on YouTube for you. Make it easier. Uh, uh, as soon as I get my computer up and running, it's not broken. It just needs some service. Okay. And, and, and sir, so he, he that YouTube channel. Your, your YouTube channel is called the uh, Barstow Training Channel. Yes. File a report for a homicide. You'd have to go through the coroner. Legally allowed to accept any evidence, it has to go through homicide first. Find out more information before a report can be filed.